The last thing I want to do is I'm going to poke a hole here so I can reference from the inside where where this is. And then I'm going to take this and I'm simply going to put it in place. I'm pressing down. <clears throat> I didn't get this <coughs> quite muddy enough. But the idea is if this form is stiff it will hold its shape. And right here you see I'm I'm pressing it until I see the mud come out. And that's telling me that I've I've firmly joined the two. So I'm using the side of my thumb there and trying not to deform my tunnel. But you see the water is coming out, so I'm I'm squishing the mud together. Now the place that's most out to crack is up here because you got two forms going in different directions and so the stress of drying is uh, greater there. And so I sort of run my finger across there and I just want to try to put this on so it's sort of nice and neat. Now I'll do one other thing on these, which maybe I don't need to do, but it's extra insurance. I usually keep some tubs around that has some of my porcelain in it that's softer. Okay, this is quite soft. And I can I can grab some of that and I can quickly make some some coils. Well in this case I can make a coil and I can uh, I can make a fillet in that joint. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to smear some extra clay into that joint. So I'm just running my my finger and that basically just it helps to consolidate and strengthen the joint. Whether it's absolutely necessary or not, I don't know. It's, it adds a little bit of time. Maybe it doesn't help, maybe it does, but a lot of things like this end up being habit and you think, oh, I've got to do it. The thing to do is try and not do it and see what happens, but you get so much time into a sink by the time you fire it. Sometimes it seems worthwhile to put a little extra effort into it. So I'm smoothing that down. I use my finger to take off the excess. And that's actually pushing clay and forcing some pressure into that joint. And the fact that that coil is not as stiff makes it easier. I got a bad habit of sticking my finger in my mouth to wet it up, which is probably not sanitary. But so you see, I can I can wet my finger and then I could smooth that out and make the transition look look finished, and then usually I don't need to do this, but just to make it. To make it look organic, I usually just run some water over that so, so I have a nice smooth organic curve coming out of that. And that's about it. That looks a bit messy there, but all that water will dry up and it'll look the curve will look like it's got a nice transition. So if you do this with this tunnel stiffened up a little bit, it will retain the shape. If the tunnel is too soft, all of this working, it'll get deformed and it'll get punched in. Well, once it gets punched in, you can't pull it back out because you can't get at it. So this is done. Well, sometimes I forget 
that I have to turn this thing over because I I have to put a hole from the inside. So I flip that over. And then I need another tool. This is a hole cutter uh, made out of a piece of aluminum tubing and you see it's a half, uh, half circle. And this allows you to very quickly cut, cut a, a round hole in a cross section of clay. And I'm sort of remembering where my needle was on the inside and also I can feel out here where, where the center of my tunnel is and so the center of the tunnel is about here and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to position that I don't want to get up into my ribs and then basically I'm just twisting it around and the clay is a little soft if the clay was a little stiffer it would stick in that so I'm going to stick, stick that in and that pulls the plug out Ordinarily, I'd wait for this to get a little softer, I mean a little stiffer. So that goes right through the tongue. And just to be sure I got enough, enough flow, I'm going to put another one right below it. Now this is going into the void of the tunnel. And so both of those plugs came out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the inside edge a little bit so I'm I'm making a radius on the inside and the part that is coming off the radius is coming out with my needle tool and I do that in both holes and it's a little small and on this tool I've got another shape on the end of the handle and that allows me to stick that in the hole and it allows me to radius the outside I've got a little bit of a bump there but I stick that in and then I rotate it I do that on both of them And that gives me a, a smooth radius to the hole. Now that throws up a little clay on the inside. But I can deal with that pretty easily by just taking the end of a, a dowel or the end of this thing and smoothing it out. Now there's a little bit of detailing on that, but again all this will be covered up, smoothed out by the place. So that's about it. I'll take this and I'll flip it over. From this side you can see you don't have any the holes didn't go through the tunnel. So what happens is if you have a stopper or a plug in the sink and the water doesn't get turned off it simply goes in this hole it goes down the tunnel goes into the donut and the drain has some perforations inside and it goes down your drain instead of running all over your floor. That's the theory anyway. <laughs>